I don't even have words. It's just crazy. Protests erupted across the country overnight after Kentucky's attorney general announced a grand jury filed criminal charges for one officer present at the shooting death of Breonna Taylor in Louisville, but no charges for her death itself. As night fell on Louisville, violence erupted and two police officers were shot. We're told one is alert and in stable condition. The other has gone through surgery and is expected to survive. Police say a suspect there is already in custody. The grand jury decision comes more than six months after Louisville police stormed Breonna Taylor's apartment with the judge's approved search warrant. Her boyfriend, Kenneth Walker, says he didn't hear them announce themselves as police and thought it was a break in. He fired once, hitting an officer who returned fire, killing Breonna Taylor. And that's where the grand jury and Kentucky state law says it's police self defense if they're shot at first. Officer Brett Hankinson is charged with three counts of wanton endangerment for shooting wildly into a neighboring apartment. The Taylor family attorney calls the decision not to charge anyone with her murder outrageous. All right, back here in Portland, hundreds of people gathered to protest and some gave speeches last night protesting police brutality. Others made tributes directly to Brianna. Later in the evening, we saw fires and violence again erupt outside the Portland police headquarters downtown. Police there declared a riot and made several arrests. KGW's Bryant Clerkley live for us there in downtown this morning with more on the situation. Good morning, Bryant. Good morning, Nina, and I'm here outside that central precinct now, and I'm just gonna step up and you guys can see all the graffiti outside the kill all cops and there's more graffiti on the door. If you take a look up, you can see the shattered glass in this window and the late night protesters were chanting Breonna Taylor's name here outside the Justice Center. The police did declare a riot around 1030. They say Molotov cocktails were thrown at them and these are flames from what appears to be the Molotov cocktail that was thrown. Authorities say the group blocked cars and threw softball sized rocks towards the central police precinct. The rocks broke windows. Authorities also say people used slingshots to shoot objects into the building. According to police, some people also tried to get into the building. Officers used flashbangs and pepper balls to clear the crowd and made several arrests. They haven't said yet just how many arrests they made, and three officers had minor injuries at last check, and the names of the people arrested have not been released yet. Nina.